Hey y'all, welcome to Homemade the Hoodway. Thank you so much to everyone who has already subscribed. And if you haven't, go ahead and click that button below. Y'all, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple but perfectly loaded omelet. As always, the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. Let's get started, y'all. First thing we're going to do is take our egg pan and put that on a low heat. Then we're going to take our baking pan and put that on a medium heat. Once the pan is hot, I'm going to use my shears to cut my baking strips so that it fits in the pan. And yes, this is pork. We won't be using any turkey bacon for this omelet, but if that's your thing, feel free to use it, child. You make your omelet how you want to. Now for me, these two strips of bacon will be enough, but if you are a bacon fanatic, go ahead and add another strip or two. I won't tell anybody. Bacon is frying. We're going to grab our veggies and chop them up. If you're not a fan of onion or bell peppers, you can remove one or even both but they do give the omelet a great flavor. Y'all comment down below and tell me what else you would add to this omelet. If I was making this for my husband, I would definitely add some spinach. All right, y'all, it's time to flip our bacon to the other side. And once it's ready, I'm gonna place it on a paper towel. Now we can grab our veggies and place them directly in our baking pan. The oil from the bacon will not only help to keep the veggies from sticking to the pan, but with the bacon flavor being added, there's no need to add any additional seasonings. While our veggies continue to cook, we're going to grab a bowl and add our eggs. For this omelet, we'll be using three eggs. Now that may not sound like a lot, but you'll see how big the omelet gets. And I just use pepper and a little bit of salt for seasoning. And I'm just going to grab a fork and beat the eggs until they are well blended. And later in the video, I'll show you the method I use for less splatter when flipping the omelet. The veggies are ready, so I've lined a paper plate with a paper towel so we can remove the excess baking grease. And I will be using another paper plate for the omelet once it's ready. I am definitely team no dishes, honey. So when I can use a paper plate, I do. We're going to grab some butter and add that to our egg pan and just swirl that around. Then we're going to add our eggs. And next, we can incorporate our veggies. You want to make sure you spread them out real good. And now it's time for our bacon. I'm just going to break it into pieces and place it all over. As you can see, the two bacon strips covers the omelet pretty well, but a little bit more bacon wouldn't hurt. And here's the method I use for less splatter when flipping the omelet. I make little gaps throughout the omelet so that the egg that's on top falls through and cooks. This method works especially well when you're cooking an omelet with more eggs and more ingredients. Here I'm just adding some thick cut triple cheddar blend cheese. As soon as you flip your omelet, you want to add your cheese right away. This will ensure that the cheese melts faster. And now I'm going to flip my omelet to one side and add a little bit of cheese on the top. This is simply for presentation. It is not necessary to add this, but the more cheese, the better it is for me. Once I finish placing my cheese on top of my omelet, I'm going to grab a paper plate and put that on top to melt the cheese faster. It's been a couple of minutes, y'all, and bam, look at that cheese. Y'all know what I'm about to do. I'm about to dig in, y'all. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. To all of my chefs out there, after you've made this meal, you can go ahead and add chef to the front of your name. I appreciate you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content, and I'll see y'all in the next video.